are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here thank you for your love and your support but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time <laughs> it is a continuation of judith's love story a zambian lady who thought had found love on online dating site but what happened to her she says i cast the day i joined that dating site so guys from that phrase you can feel or you can imagine how Judith's heart is bleeding. Yeah. But guys, I am not sharing this love story to scare you out. Not at all. But I am here to tell you that, yes, it is very, very good. It is amazing. It is exciting when you are on online dating sites and then you find a guy is showing interest in you. <laughs> yeah, it feels really, really good. But guys, you need to be very, very careful because what happened to Judith can also happen to you. So through her love story, we get to learn. We get to shine our eyes. <laughs> I remember when I was talking to Judith about this love story, at some point I told you I had to leave her so that she can heal. And yeah, as we were chatting, she told me, but Bella, you know what? Even if you tell these ladies of the dangers of an online dating apps, dating sites, still they won't listen for a lady to listen she needs to first hit her head on the wall and then will listen to you <laughs> she will learn but i told her judith no that's not true because exist ladies that really listen to me and through the bad stories guys that i've shared with you on this channel i have saved loads of ladies i have a noticeable number of ladies that follow me on instagram and you find they're asking you bella i'm chatting with this guy what can i I do Bella what do you think I don't want to be in trouble like Caroline meaning Caroline's story taught you something taught you to be very careful so I told her no girl we have to share this I know it will save someone out there even if I save only one woman it makes a difference guys <laughs> So I will keep bringing you success stories, those good stories that you like, but at the same time, bad stories like this one, Judith's story, yeah. <laughs> and lastly, guys, no matter what you are going to hear from this love story, please, please do not judge Judith. Let us only learn. I'm here not to judge Judith, but you know, to help someone out there learn from her love story. Yes, please, please, because this lady has gone through a lot. So you starting to call her names, you know, <laughs> and blaming her, judging her, it will just open her wounds and I wouldn't like that to happen. So guys, let us jump into this love story. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I know you are. So guys, after Kalisa's story, the scammer <laughs> from the UK, but maybe I think Kalisa might be even a black guy. And I totally agree with William, <laughs> our brother-in-law. I know guys, you know him. <laughs> he always comments on my videos. Yeah. <laughs> William is dating a Ugandan lady and they met on online dating site. Yeah. <laughs> Respect for you, my brother-in-law, because he was saying, Bella, you know, some people can even take photos of white guys, you know, to scam ladies. And that's why I say I agree with William because <laughs> they 
had never met on a video call i mean kalisa and judith so it is totally possible the guy was just a black guy pretending to be a white guy from the uk so after that story ended judith kept on with her life and tells us she kept on upgrading academically so at that time was studying his degree in business administration yeah and was living with a friend her kids she decided to take them to her parents first so that she can first settle down and then bring the kids to start living with her so as she was living with that friend tells us one day they were in town you know taking a walk and then came this car stopped them inside the car there were two cute guys <laughs> These guys they were from the capital city and they were asking Judith and their friend for direction because they had got lost they had come to the city to do some work yeah so they talked and from there clicked <laughs> after clicking Judith and their friend invited these two guys to their place these guys went and reaching at their place oh my god everything was going super good they connected <laughs> told us these guys stayed in their town for two weeks staying at their place so within those two weeks things changed <laughs> from friendship these guys started dating so judith was dating one of the guy and the friend was dating another guy so two couples both in love <laughs> so after staying for two weeks these guys returned back to the capital city but the relationship did not end there no they kept on dating seeing each other they could go for weekend getaways together everything was flowing but later on judith came to find out that that guy that she was dating was married and the wife knew that <laughs> This guy his name is Yusuf so she knew that Yusuf was dating Judith and Yusuf told Judith that he wants to marry the second wife and the wife was okay with it she didn't know why the wife was okay with it but that's what Yusuf told Judith Judith was like okay but let me first see how our relationship will keep on going so yes they kept on seeing each other and yusuf could try his best to go visit judith so that they can be together and tells us one day <laughs> she had accompanied yusuf to the bus station and when they arrived there they came across judith's ex-husband <laughs> Oh my god, the guy started attacking Yusuf, you know, fighting him. Yusuf had to tell Judith, "Go home, I am going to deal with him." So when Judith left, returned home, <laughs> Judith's ex-husband had to call the friends, told them, "You have to beat up this man." <laughs> But his friends did not do that because they knew how he had treated Judith. in their marriage so yeah he was the only one that fought yusuf and <laughs> after that yusuf took the bus and returned to the capital city arriving had to call judith told her what had happened when she left but told judith no matter what happens i am going to be with you i will be with you forever judith was really really happy and tells us what happened between yusuf and the ex-husband it's like it had added fuel to their love <laughs> it became even more stronger So guys, all was going really really good between Yusuf and Judith. Even Yusuf started telling Judith that he would like his kids to meet with Judith's kids because if they get married, <laughs> they will have to stay together. But the truth is what I have understood is that at that time that Judith was dating Yusuf, it's because this lady was hurt. from what had happened in her marriage and it reaches a point when you are hurt and confused you do things that later on when you sit down and start thinking about them you'll be like how could i have done that because you guys that watched 
Judith's story, part one, this lady left her marriage cause couldn't keep up in her husband's behavior of marrying another woman <laughs> illegally. But this guy was seeing the police woman. And not only that, the guy was violent on her. But Judith going to date another guy who had a wife, you'll be like, what happened to Judith? It's because this lady was in that confusion state, yeah. But yeah, at that time, wouldn't feel like she is confused or anything, only that she wanted is to be with someone. <laughs> and then Yusuf came up. <laughs> so friends, because everything was going very well between Judith and Yusuf, they planned that. Judith should travel and go visit Yusuf in the capital city where he stayed. So they planned when she is supposed to go and visit Yusuf. Judith was really excited, you know, for that trip. <laughs> but when the time was almost arriving, Yusuf had to postpone, told her, right now I've got lots of work to do, you know, I won't have time to be with you, so let us postpone. But this guy kept on moving the dates, and every date they could plan that Judith should go, he could move the date again, find excuses for Judith not to go visit him. Also, Judith tells us, yes, this guy was really, really busy, and he could travel a lot, because he used to work in the results. So yes, things started changing and their communication started breaking down. Eventually, there was no communication at all between Judith and Yusuf. So guys, due to what had happened with Yusuf, she was very, very disappointed and decided to keep on with her life and at that time had to move out from her friend's place, find a place of her own and took her kids, started living with her kids as she continues studying for her bachelor's degree in business administration, but also was working. So guys, Yusuf had stopped communicating to Judith. Judith kept on with her life but at the same time kept on hoping that maybe one day Yusuf will come back and they will start from where they ended. She kept on waiting, but that did not happen. So after realizing that it won't happen, gave up completely on Yusuf. Had to tell her friend that, you know what? I've given up on local men. Right now, I want to explore and tells us always had a feeling of going away from her country, start a new life with the love of her life, happily and peacefully, take her kids with her. So after telling that to her friend, her friend was like, why can't you join online dating sites? Judith was like, you know the problem with these dating sites, dating apps, they ask me to pay and I don't have money to pay for those dating apps, dating sites. But the friend told her, exist dating sites whereby you can chat with a guy if the guy is paying. But if the guy is not paying, you cannot chat. Why can't you give it a try? And that's when her friend sent her a link of Afro introductions. So Judith tells us that is how she got introduced to dating apps and had to create an account on Afro introductions. But says, I cast the day I created an account on Afro introductions. Didn't know it was the beginning of hell on earth for her. So friends, after Judith registering on two Afro introductions, tells us stayed there for five days. But within those five days, could get messages that she couldn't respond to, you know, guys who are not paying. <laughs> and she tried her best to send messages to guys, but no one was responding to her. So she kind of got frustrated. You who are on online dating apps or sites, you can relate to this. <laughs> when you are trying your best to reach out to guys, but no one is responding. But the only messages you get are from the guys that you're not interested in or the guys that are not even paying on that dating site or app. <laughs> yeah, so that is what happened to Judith and Judith told the friend mm, 
I'm kind of giving up because I think it's not working out for me. But the friend encouraged her, was like, no, you shouldn't give up. One day will come a guy who is paying and a guy who is interested in you. So yes, Judith had to listen to a friend, kept on searching, at the same time praying. Also tells us, before she left, her ex-husband had to kneel down, prayed to God, was like, God, I am tired of taking all of the responsibilities. God, I am tired of being both a mother and a father to my kids. I need a man who will take all the responsibilities, a man who will take care of me so that I can breathe, I can rest. <laughs> Yeah, so she kept on on the dating site, kept on studying, kept on going to work. At that, she had to study, improve herself academically because believed it will take her very far. And also believed if she goes very far, it will be easy for her to keep on helping her kids and her parents because she was the breadwinner. She could take care of her kids and also could take care of her parents and her younger sister who really needed her help. So yes, guys, at the time, Judith was almost giving up. <laughs> but for me, I say that's too early. Five days, people have been on the dating sites, dating apps for so many years. <laughs> and they're still searching. <laughs> for her five days, no, it's not working at all at all. <laughs> So when she was about to give up, tells us that day was at work and decided to use the workplace Wi-Fi, logged in onto Afro introductions, you know, to check if there is any message. And guess what, guys? Found a long message. Tells us that message had capital letters, small letters, equals plus oh my god it was really really long so guys in that message what was written inside the guy was like is looking for a woman or for a lady who will be submissive to him will train that lady for business and added prefers if that lady knows how to use computer and ended that if you are interested please feel free to get back to me. So dear friends, because Judith did not have any experience of how online dating world can be, when she saw the message was so happy. <laughs> Tell us, us was like, I didn't know God hears prayers. <laughs> he had my prayer. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I was so happy because she knew it was her answered prayer. Remember, she prayed to God to bring a man who will take care of her. <laughs> and now the man is talking about business, you know, and all that. So what she did had to get back to the guy right away. <laughs> so guys, when Judith responded to the guy after seeing his first message, the long one, <laughs> This guy from Albania responded again to Judith and was like, please tell me about yourself. So Judith had to tell the guy about herself. And after that, he responded and was like, you know, I'm a very busy man. I'm a businessman. I don't have, you know, lots of time to stay here. So please contact me on WhatsApp and gave her his WhatsApp number. So guys, when Judith got the number, it was late at night, <laughs> was so happy and couldn't wait for the next day to come so that she can message Amma. <laughs> yeah, and the next day, yes, Judith had to write to Amma, was like, hello, how are you? I am Judith. We talked yesterday on Afro introductions and you gave me your WhatsApp numbers. So here I am. So when Amma got her message, told her, can we do a video call? Because I would like to see you if you are real. And Judith was like, yes, sure, no problem. So Amma called and he saw her on a video call, was happy. They were both happy to see each other. Another thing, guys, that you need to know about Amma, he is 60 years old. Yeah. And I told you, Judith is in her late 30s. So, yes, guys, after the video call with Amma, 
he did not disappear. No, they kept on chatting. And that's when Amma asked Judith, do you like surprises? <laughs> Judith was like, yes, I do. And Judith tells us at that same same time, without even noticing, her phone was loaded with data. Tells us he sent lots of money that she had never imagined, you know, to have in her phone. So when she saw the money, oh my God, was so happy and thanked to God, told God, thank you to bring a man who knows how to load my data. <laughs> And guys, I'm laughing because I try to imagine. I know, I know that time when you are just new to dating sites, you don't know how things work. And that's why, guys, I'm here to help you out. <laughs> when things like that happen, you know how to behave. You know how to react. You know how to protect your heart. And with this, she was like, Bella, I totally agree with you when you tell us God gives you what you pray for. <laughs> yeah, because for me, I knelt down and I told God, bring a man who will be responsible, bring a man who will take care of all my responsibilities because <laughs> I'm really tired. Remember, she developed the husband and later on what happened the husband left her with a broken heart so that's why she prayed for a guy who will take care of her responsibilities and yeah Alma has started to show that he is responsible and for her that was an answered prayer from God but let us keep on listening or watching this video to know what happened next because this story will shock you, will make you cry. Oh my God, it will also open your eyes. It will shine your eyes. So yes, Judith was like, thank God, finally, I am going to be at rest. <laughs> you have brought a perfect man, a right man that I prayed for. <laughs> so yes, they kept on communicating and Amma sent her a long list of questions that she is supposed to respond and told her you answering these questions will help me to get to know you better tells us there were so many questions and he sent those questions it was at night so that night judith did not sleep she spent the whole night answering the questions slept at four imagine guys but not only that Amma told her, you have to answer those questions accordingly, in order. So, if I ask to you, what is your name? You are supposed to answer. Question one, my name is Judith. Question two, what is your surname? Is dot 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 dot. Yeah, <laughs> like that, in order. He wanted it that way. So Judith had to follow because <laughs> she didn't know anything about how these guys can be on online dating apps or dating sites. But if it was for me, <laughs> it was me, or I know you, my babies, or if Judith had come across my YouTube channel, I'm very sure she couldn't have wasted her time, you know, to respond to questions to a guy the whole night. That's not right <laughs> at all, at all. And why should I respond in order? Let me be me. I will answer how I want. <laughs> Yeah, let's continue, guys. <laughs> so, guys, after answering those questions, I know some of you will be like, Bella, is this story even real? Did this happen? Yes, it happened. And it can also happen to you, especially if you are new to dating apps or if you are in that state of desperacy, if you are desperate. So, please, let us keep on learning. So after answering the questions, Amma asked her if she wants to be his slave and he's going to pay her for the job. When Judith heard that, was like, slave, what do you mean? Amma was like, no, 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 no. It's not what you think. It's not that I'm going to be tying you up, use you, exploit you for sex B. 
business? No, 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 no. What I want, I want you to be submissive. I want you to be obedient. <laughs> be a good woman and take care of me. Be everywhere that I will be. So don't be scared and start thinking, maybe I'll tie you up and start beating you or use you for this business. It's not like that. And added that, I will pay you for that. So Judith had to ask, how much are you going to pay me? <laughs> so Amma told her, I'm going to pay you $300. But attention guys, the promises did not end there. Amma told Judith or promised her that I'm going to train you for business. And after two years, you will return to your country. I will start a business for you. So we'll be like business partners and I'll keep taking care of you. So on Judith's side or on Judith's life in Zambia tells us at that time the pandemic had hit the tourism sector so badly. And you all that watched part one, Judith was in the tourism sector. So tells us for things to be better, maybe it was going to be after three years. And guys, because Amma knew that Judith was in a tourism sector because of course they had talked, he used that to convince her the more, <laughs> told her, since, since you are in the tourism sector, do you think things will rise soon? No, they won't. So you have to utilize the opportunity that I am offering you. <laughs> Opportunities comes once in life. <laughs> Judith had to think about it, tells us, yes, things were really going bad, 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 that even the hotel could close, but it's not that she was not paid. She was paid really good. But you know, when you're not sure of what is coming next, because nobody knew how this pandemic was going to end. So that is why she had to think well of what Amma was telling her. <laughs> and in the end, she had to agree with the offer that Alma was offering her. But guys, another reason that made Judith agree with Alma's opportunity or accept his opportunity is that she was really tired of that town. The humiliation that she went through with the ex-husband tells us sometimes when she could walk, could feel naked, you know, everyone talking about her. And you know, sometimes people tend to blame without knowing the real story, especially those who don't know you. So some people could blame her and she could feel like she is the bad person. There is a word she said, and I felt really, really touched. Says, I felt like a useless thing. Guys, when you hear this from a woman, oh my God, that means she had reached the limit and had lost all her confidence tells us it's not that she didn't know her value, knew her value, knew her capabilities, knew the real woman in her, but all that was destroyed. So felt like going away will help, needed a change. And I had told you that because the town was small, everyone knew everybody's business so she was like i have to get out of this town before i go insane and the opportunity was presented to her was like take it now or never <laughs> so yes they kept on talking getting to know each other and then one day Amma started asking questions like, where are you? Whom do you live with? What are you doing? I would like to see your house. How much do you pay, you know, for the rent? And I want to see your kids. So when he mentioned, wanted to see the kids, oh my God, <laughs> Judith was so happy. I was like, wow, a man that wants to see my kids. <laughs> this is the one. So yes, he called on a video call and talked to her kids. The kids were happy to see him. And yeah, the relationship continued, guys. So guys, they kept on communicating. And then one day, Amma tells Judith, I want to see your cake. <laughs> he wants to see the goodies. <laughs> then Judith tells him, my young sister is here. I can't do that. So guys, Judith says 
she didn't have any experience on online dating apps or sites didn't know even if you meet a guy online and then this guy asks to see your goodies should you send the photos or you should not send the photos she didn't know at all and i know i've seen lots of ladies yes you come on my instagram and be like bella the guy is asking to see the goodies what should i do should i send the photos or not yeah so <laughs> we understand judith yes we totally understand but she didn't have anyone to ask should i send or i shouldn't send and another thing guys is that being african i know back home you know when you are there you talk you don't have any experience uh, of dating white guys of how white guys are <laughs> some people tell you stories so you meeting a white guy online and then is asking you things is telling you things you be like maybe that is how white guys are <laughs> most of you have done things with these white guys online things that you couldn't have done with a black guy simply because you say he is a white guy white guys are strange white guys are like that no <laughs> white guys are not like that the white guy that you came across is a bad one is a player is a womanizer is an abuser yeah because exist good white guys that will never ever ask to see your goodies yeah <laughs> but the one that judith came across was not a good white man and remember what i advised you while you are on online dating sites the things that you could do the things that you could accept while dating a black guy then accept them or do them with a white guy. If you couldn't have done those things with a black guy, then don't do them with a white guy. Guys, it's just a color. A white guy is just a man, just like any other man of any color. Let us not keep on falling into their traps. Traps of bad white men. So yes, Amma was the first guy Judith to chat with on online dating apps or sites. So no experience and what she did had to take the photo of her goodies and send them to Amma. When Amma got those photos, the guy got furious. Why did you send these photos without your face? I need to see your face. <laughs> in these photos what do you think of me do you think i'm going to sell your photos i am a rich guy i make my own money i make one million in a day do you think i'm going to sell these your nude photos for one dollar i am not like that so what he said he said i want you to send proper pictures with your face on it and videos <laughs> Oh my God. So guys, Judith tells us without knowledge, she had to send those pictures, the pictures showing her goodies and her face and the videos. Because Amma wanted to see her body, good body. So when Amma saw that, was so happy, told her, this is good. This is what I wanted. So I'm going to give you the opportunity. I'm going to give you a chance. I will bring you here. You will be my woman. You will be my slave. But again, Judith was like slave, but this slave does not sit well with me. She asked again, slave? He said, no, no, not what you think. I'm not going to be tying you and beating you or harassing you sexually. No, I am just saying you will be my servant. You will take care of me because he added has got lots of medical problems. So I was like, I need someone who will be here to take care of me, who will be my servant. So yes, guys, Judith said, yes, I'll be there for you. I will be your shadow. I will be your companion. But was like, Bella, me listening to your videos, I remember there is a video you did and talked about age. And in that video, I also remember telling you guys that be careful. Even if someone is old, 
but make sure he is physically fit doesn't have lots of medical issues because you will end up to babysit him <laughs> i say this but if he is you know old and you see he's physically fit his mind is functioning because judith tells us she has seen it all 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 <laughs> because some of these people at that age you find they have lots of medical problems they are looking for a lady an african lady you know to be their nurse some of them their mind is no longer functioning they are losing their mind <laughs> you will be in trouble because she has witnessed everything so guys ama went ahead and asked judith if she would like to be in polygamy, you know, <laughs> sleep in the same bed, share the man with another woman. Cause told Judith, I would like to bring another woman so that both of you can be my women and you will be sleeping together in the same bed, <laughs> enjoying the goodies and taking care of me. Judith tells us, out of despair, out of desperacy, agreed to that. Also adds that was really curious, wanted to know or wanted to see how this will go. <laughs> yeah, so she was ready to get deep into it. So guys, they kept on communicating, all was going, like I am telling you guys, I can't say all was going well because I don't see wellness in this, <laughs> yeah. So they kept on communicating. Judith tells us he could call every single day. He was present, he was consistent. So as they were keeping on talking, cause she had agreed to everything that Amma asked her then Amma told her you know it's time to meet but i can only bring you here for work meaning with a work visa because i'm not planning to get married i'll never marry again i am divorced Amma was leaving with the ex-wife because the ex-wife had also medical issues yeah so was like i'm divorced i'm not planning to get married i am not planning to have more kids that is what we have agreed with my sons and then judith told him it's okay i accept i agree because i have got my own kids and i'm not desperate to get married the only thing that judith wanted is to get out of her country but guys you who is watching this video please please no matter how you are desperate no matter how you want to get out of your country please please never follow a guy that is telling you once a slave once a servant and i told you guys these men that you meet online and then they come start saying oh i want you to come with a work visa it's a red flag something is not right you should stand in one are you in a relationship Oh, you are just friends. This guy wants to help you find a job in his country. Because in this story, Amma is talking of sleeping with Judith, you know, as his woman, but doesn't want to marry her. At the same time, wants to bring her in his country, but not as a girlfriend, not as a fiancé, not as a wife, no, with a work visa. So where does Judith stand here? Is she the girlfriend or Amma is just her boss? <laughs> Confusion, complicated. These are complicated relationships I always talk about. I'm not here to blame Judith, but let us learn, guys. I repeat. So he tells her, I want you to resign from your job. This will prove to me that you are ready and serious. <laughs> but Judith tells us, did not resign right away. No, kept on with her work but told Amma that she had resigned. So, so guys, Amma on his side, he started the process for her work permit. And with Judith, of course, the relationship continued 
and tells us he started sending her money money for the food would send her money tell her take the kids out you know it's the weekend <laughs> go buy this for the kids oh my god tells us was taken away because she saw that her life had started changing so it continued like that he sends money today and then after a few days he sends again not even a week again he sends money yeah it was like that and judith was over the moon <laughs> like wow i've got a guy who is responsible so guys as time went on amma told judith i want you to put a profile picture of me and you on your whatsapp profile <laughs> And Judith says he wanted to prove if she doesn't have any man, she is not lying. So what Judith did went through all the photos that Amma had sent to her and chose one. So had to do a photo collage, but it was, you know, the side one whereby here is Judith and here is Amma. <laughs> Because they had not met yet. <laughs> so she had to put it on her WhatsApp profile. And after putting it, Amma saw it. Instead of being happy, because Judith expected he was going to be happy about it. It's what he requested. But no, he was so angry. Was like, who told you to put that picture like that? No, make another one. <laughs> <laughs> then started telling her on how he wants it to be. He was like, I should be on top. You know, I am a man, so I should be in top of you and you should be down. <laughs> that is when Judith says she started seeing mm, this guy is really controlling. What is this? But she had to follow what Amma told her. So what Judith did had to do another photo collage and had to put Amma on top and she was down. After that was not supposed to put the picture yet on WhatsApp. No, was supposed to first send it to Amma. If he's happy with it, then gives her a go ahead. This guy had a controlling character. But yes, after Amma saying, yes, you can go ahead. That's when Judith had to go and put the picture on her WhatsApp profile. When the dad saw that, Judith's dad asked, who is that man with you? <laughs> and Judith was like, no, he's just a friend. <laughs> just left it like that. But in this case, Judith kept on seeing that, yes, this guy is very, very controlling, but told herself, anyways, I will see when I get there. What I need is to leave this country. So yes, as the process was going on, because even on Judith's side had started the process, the fingerprints, the police clearance, then Amma comes with the craziest idea, tells her that, you know what, I think... I can also bring your sister here, her younger sister. So it's time, maybe you should start training her on what I want. Oh my God. Judith tells us was so angry that day. Told him, what do you mean? Do you mean that my sister should have a love relationship with you just like me? Like sleep on the same bed with you? That will never ever happen in my eyes. Then Amma was like, ah, it's okay. I am sorry. And then Judith tells us that's when she saw something is wrong somewhere. But at that time, couldn't stop everything because things had gone so far. So guys, you know I always ask questions. If you have ever shared a story on this channel, you know I always ask this question. Did you introduce him to your parents? So I had to ask Judith too <laughs> if she introduced him to parents. She was like, at the beginning, no. But when the visa process was almost ready, Amma himself requested to talk to her parents and you know the parents lives in the village so had to call the parents and yes they came when they came that evening Amma called on a video call so guys when he called on a video call started promising you know lots of things <laughs> to her parents I'm gonna change her life 
And when the parents heard that, they were so happy. They were like, oh, finally, <laughs> life is going to be very easy for us. So yes, everyone was happy that evening because, you know, the parents got so much hope from Amma. And Judith was like, Bella, I don't know what to say. So dear friends, as Judith was doing the visa process, then came to find out that the traveling insurance is needed and tells us at that time in Zambia, it was something new. It wasn't common. So it was super, super expensive. She went to ask and they told her it's $500. So after hearing it's $500, mind you, Amma had sent only $200 for the traveling insurance. So she had to go to her own insurance whereby she had collaborated with that insurance, hoping it will be better. But even arriving there, they told her it's $300. Dollars. <laughs> so had to talk to them for a discount, but they told her it's not possible. It's three hundred dollars. So had to call Ama and tell Ama that you know the traveling insurance is three hundred dollars. It's not two hundred dollars. Then Ama told her, no, that's not possible. It's impossible that a traveling insurance can be that expensive. Talk to them so that they can do a discount on you. And if they accept, I'm going to send you money, you know, that remaining money, you use it for yourself. <laughs> Judith told him, I've talked to them, but it's not under their authority. It's not under their power, you know, to do a discount. That's what is needed. Oh my God. He started getting furious on her. <laughs> and told her, you know, there is this lady at my office and she told me that maybe you are eating with that insurance company. That insurance company, they are thieves. Like maybe Judith, you know, had talked to the insurance company so that they can say the insurance is $300 instead of $200. Imagine guys, imagine this guy. But Judith kept on telling him, it's not possible. I've tried my best, but that's what they want. So as he was keeping on, you know, getting furious on her, Judith told him, please calm down. Oh my God. Judith tells us, <laughs> she was like, hey, Bella, <laughs> I was in trouble. He threatened to stop everything and told her, how can you tell me to calm down? I don't want to stay with a woman who will tell me to calm down. I am going to stop everything because I don't want to be disrespected. Judith was like, Bella, eh. And she says, you know, when you have told your kids that I am going and they have that hope, oh, mama will go overseas, will buy a house, will do this, will do that. They had so much hope that Judith never wanted to destroy at that time. Tells us even herself had so much hope, wanted to go away, away from that country. So the whole process to be stopped, like how Amma threatened, oh my God, she was really devastated, was traumatized, was very, very scared. Tells us it took three days, you know, <laughs> for everything to return to normal. So guys, as they kept on negotiating on that money for the traveling insurance, then Amma, oh my God, this guy, told Judith that I know in Africa, people use sex for exchange of payment. Why can't you use sex to make them reduce the money? Judith tells us she was really hurt. Like, how can this guy think this of me but yeah this guy said african women are like that but attention guys if you are a white guy or even if you're not a white guy but you're not from africa we don't do that no 
we don't as you know everywhere in the world any country has good people bad people good women bad women <laughs> so if really exist some who do that like exchange for payment <laughs> those are bad women but but generally in africa no we don't do that <laughs> this albanian guy was really really wrong and judith cried so much tells us was destroyed because she's not like that she's not that kind of a woman that will use say, for payment or she's not that kind of a woman that will tell the insurance company you know tell the guy much money so that we can divide no she is not like that at all i was like bella i am not like that so she cried so much that day that her eyes turned red and guys me having you know that close relationship with judith you know getting to know her talking to her every single day has made me notice that she's such a humble lady a very calm one guys when i told you that some of these white guys they are very very clever they know how to pick their victims really because oh my god when you talk to her she's so sweet she's so humble oh my goodness i don't know what to tell you sadly she cannot come here and talk to you but was like bella bella hey i know one day i'll come and talk to you and this is a bit of what will happen at the end of these stories so let's hope that she will come you are going to confirm what i'm telling you she's such a polite woman so amma called that evening to talk with judith because they could talk every single day on a video call and when he called he noticed that judith's eyes were red and swollen so he was like what is happening what is wrong with you why are your eyes like that let me hope i'm not the cause if i am the cause then i am sorry judith at that time was angry and was like maybe really we should stop this maybe this is not meant for me but after him apologizing she was like okay and decided to ignore so with the money for traveling insurance <laughs> ama did not send that a hundred dollars he did not send and judith tells us she had bought lots of things and didn't have money at that time so had to borrow from a friend so that she can top up on that money for the traveling insurance and after topping up that's when she got her traveling insurance and sent the invoice <laughs> to ama when ama saw the receipts was like 300 <laughs> But Judith never wanted to explain or tell him that she borrowed money because there could be another fight. But the truth is, yes, she borrowed money, told the friend, when I get my first salary, when I arrive in Albania, I'm going to send you your $100. So guys, Judith tells us after one month, the work permit in Albania was out and then Amma sent it to her. When she received that work permit, had to travel to the capital city to submit her visa application. And as she was waiting, you know, <laughs> for them to call her, go pick her visa, then Amma came with this talk that wasn't pleasant at all because Judith had told him that she is a breadwinner, takes care of her parents and her younger sister. So Amma started saying, so that means when you come here, I have to take care of your two parents, take care of your sister, take care of your sister's daughter, take care of your two sons and take care of you. That means nine people under uh, me. And that's when Judith told him, if you think it's too much, then we can think otherwise because I don't want to burden you. But Judith tells us it wasn't pleasant at all. But at the same time, it was like, I started this and I have to finish it. So guys, a few days after, got the message from the embassy telling her her visa is out. Was so happy, went to the embassy, got her visa, took her journey to Albania. Tells us that's when the whole drama started. It was like jumping from the pan to the fire 
thinking you are escaping, but it was otherwise. So dear friends, this story has just started. It is still long. A lot of things, you know, Afro cinema, things that will make you cry, things that, oh my God, will leave you shocked are to come. But I cannot say all that in this video. No, I have to let you rest. Then next time I'm coming with the last part, which will be part three. Just stick here. Thank you so much guys for watching this video till now. I really hope you enjoyed it. You learned a lot. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Please, please, if you haven't watched my other videos, go and watch them. You're going to learn a lot. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.